This is Outcast, a very good standalone podcast app for your Apple Watch. This is the front screen of Outcast, where you can choose your podcast episode and see what's playing, skip forward and back, play, and scrub through the episode using the digital crown. Let's choose another episode. Here's the list of podcast episodes that are currently downloading, what's now playing, and what's unplayed in my list. Tap in play, take you back to the front screen, and prompt you to choose your audio output, Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker. Connecting a device will take you to the Bluetooth pairing screen. Let's have a look at downloading another podcast episode. If you click on play, it'll show you all the shows that you've previously searched for. And say we wanted to grab a new episode from one of the shows we'd previously searched for. That will appear in the list here. And clicking the cloud will start downloading that episode. Or you can browse the default iTunes categories. Or search for something completely new. Dictation or scribble. And previous searches appear below. On the episode screen you can also force touch to change the sort order and whether they're grouped. Back on the main screen, Force Touch lets you change the speed and Settings lets you change the color, country for ratings and charts, whether you download over cellular, the skip duration on the front screen, notifications for finished and failed downloads, the scrubbing speed of the crown, the podcast server, that's where the, the app gets the list of podcasts from Outcast or from the direct URL. Rotating the screen and files currently downloaded. Finally, volume can't be controlled from within the app, which is a limitation of watchOS. When you first install the app, there will be a volume icon and touching it will tell you that you must use Now Playing to control the volume, which isn't too bad of a workaround. That's Outcast for Apple Watch.